Okay, hello, welcome to today's training where I'm gonna go over email marketing tips. The top seven email marketing tips for 2020. Y'all know I got my notes, my notes, my notes. <laughs> so really excited to share this content with you. This is probably gonna be the last video in our email marketing series, but if you wanna see more videos, comment below, let me know. I want this channel to be designed around you. My name is Stephanie Rodnes. I'm the founder and CEO of God the Wood Girl, creator of the God the Wood Girl School of Business. And my purpose in life is to connect you with the resources you need to achieve your purpose in life. Hey, Hermaris. So as part of that mission, I love doing these free trainings and things like that to help you step into your God-given purpose. If you're on the YouTube channel and you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button. My goal is for the channel to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who must live her greatest purpose for Christ as a Christian entrepreneur. If you guys just heard that beep, that is Amazon issuing me a refund because a seller did not deliver their package. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's dive into <laughs> email marketing tips, seven top email marketing tips for 2020. Tip number seven, we're going to go from the, the, the smallest to the biggest, right? Tip number seven, Build your email list. <laughs> Build your email list. You have no idea how many influencers I meet that have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 followers who have 10,000, 100,000 followers who don't have an email list. And I'm like, what, bruh? How you gonna keep your business running, right? If tomorrow Instagram decides to delete the platform, Facebook decides to block you because they don't like you anymore, YouTube accidentally deletes your channel, which happened to me, you want to make sure that you have access to your audience. So if you don't have an email list, baby girl, let me tell you, if you don't have an email list tomorrow, a social media platform could go down or change their algorithm and you lose access to your audience. So how are you going to get sales? <laughs> make sure you are building your email list. This is the number one step of having an online business. Your email list is your most important asset. Not your Facebook page, not your YouTube channel, your email list. Our goal as online entrepreneurs is to use social media to find the people who have the problem we solve in our business and then bring them to our email list to join our email list. You wanna get them off social media onto your email list as soon as possible. How do you do that? That's what we've been talking about all week, baby girl. <laughs> you have something called a lead magnet. It's a digital product that you give away for free in exchange for somebody's, yes ma'am, email address. And then you set up what's called a squeeze page. It's also called a landing page and opt-in page. They're all the same thing. It's basically a one-step web page where somebody can enter in their email address and say they want your lead magnet. When they hit enter, you're gonna redirect them to what's called a thank you page, right? A thank you page. This is gonna say, Great job, I just emailed you your lead magnet. Check the email address that you provided. And by the way, don't forget to grab mine. And then here's where you're gonna present your tripwire offer, okay? Some sort of small price item that people can use to, be, to go from a lead to a customer pretty quickly. And finally, your automation. You're gonna send that email to them as soon as they enter in their email address. You want an email to go out like this that delivers the lead magnet to that person immediately into their inbox, okay? If you don't know how to do this, sign up for my upcoming email marketing accelerator that I'm teaching this Sunday. I'm gonna show you girls how to do this step by step. A lot of you girls already signed up. You've already gotten your prep work. <laughs> I've already shown you the steps, right? But we're gonna do it all together on Sunday. So make sure you click the link, God bless you, baby. Make sure you click the link in the description box below to sign up, the application form is there. Secondly, okay? Once you're building your email list, step number six, step number six, stay in contact consistently. Now, some of you girls are going to tell me, you right. I started building an email list and then I never emailed them. I know some people in this room who have done the same thing. <laughs> My husband said, oh. <laughs> so when you're building your email list, if you don't stay connected to them, you're not going to be able to build a relationship with them. I'm going to tell you a secret about selling stuff online. People buy stuff from people who they know, like, and trust. If I don't know you, I ain't going to buy from you. If I don't like you, I ain't going to buy from you. If I don't trust you, I ain't going to buy from you, okay? <laughs> the way that we build that relationship with our list is by staying in contact consistently. Even if it's just an email saying, hey, just checking in to see how you are. Stay in contact with your list at least once a week. At least once a week. And some of you girls are like, but I don't wanna bother people. That's why you send value-based emails. You're not gonna bother them, okay? 
And Dominique Hayes, Dominique is here too. So step number six, stay in contact consistently. Tip number five, email marketing tip number five, always be adding leads to your list. Always be adding leads to your list. Always be adding leads to your list. Hey, hey, hey. You always want to be adding new leads to your email list. Always. Why, right? Because your email list is growing on their journey just like you are. Just like you are. So the people who are on your email list today may need a completely different product (laughs) a year from now. Completely different because they've been on your list growing. A lot of the girls on my email list currently have been on my email list since 2016 when I first started building the Find Your Purpose list. They now know their purpose. So for me, telling them, come join me in the God of Girl School of Purpose, they've outgrown the School of Purpose. They don't need it anymore. But I still have the School of Purpose. So my goal then is to find new leads who, of people who need the School of Purpose. At the same time, I'm still creating additional products for those who have been on my list that fit them where they're at now. But you always want to be bringing new leads to your list. Don't say, oh, I reached my email list goal, now I'm done. No, always be adding leads to your list. Tip number four, tip number four, and this is for my girls who say, I don't want to bother my email list, right? Tip number four, send both free content and paid offers to your list. Send both free content and paid offers to your list. You don't want to only do one or the other. Free content are those value-based emails that we talked about in yesterday's training. So a value-based email is where you send a piece of content that gives your audience a quick win. Uh, For me, if you're on my email list, you know I like to send you YouTube videos. I love sending me a good YouTube video. (laughs) If you are on other people's email lists, you'll notice that sometimes they just send micro blogs, right? They send three tips to do this. You can send a free guide. You can send a free checklist. Something that gives them a quick win. In addition, you need to be able to make money, right? None of us, if we have a business, we are not here to have a hobby, right? If you're not making money in your business, hey, Kim, thank you for those hearts. If you're not making money in your business, it has become a very expensive hobby. (laughs) And if the Lord purposed you to be a Christian entrepreneur, your job, you're supposed to be making money, baby girl. You're supposed to be making money because when you make those coins, you'll be able to fund the pastors in your area and fund missionaries, and fund ministries. And when somebody comes up to you and says, I can't pay my rent this this month, you can bless them and say, listen, the Lord put on my heart to bless you and pay your rent this month. And they're gonna be like, tell me more about this Lord. You know, it gives you the opportunity to do kingdom work when you're making money. So it's a good thing to be making money in your business. But if you never send offers to your email list, how are you making the money? How are we making the money, baby? (laughs) I know it can be scary to send offers to our list, but you need to be providing your email list a way for them to upgrade with you. Here on my email list at God the Wood Girl, I do free classes every single Thursday for my list. Free classes every single Thursday. I send a free video every single Monday. I send micro blog content throughout the week. Sometimes I just send free stuff. I'll be like, thank you for being on the list. Here's a free book. (laughs) I provide free content all the time for my list, but... I won't be able to do that if I'm not able to make money, right? I'll have to go and get a job. (laughs) So at the same time, I always provide an opportunity for somebody to take the next step with me. Stephanie, thank you so much for this free webinar on how to write a book. Can you actually show me the steps? Sure, come and join me in the God of Girl Author Toolkit. So you're still providing that value, but you need to be making income as well. If we are in business, we need to be making sales point blank period. So you need to be consistently providing offers to your email list. Tip number three, girl, this one is a big one that took me years to learn. Tip number three is pay attention to your analytics. Pay attention to your analytics. Analytics are basically the data that shows how your emails are performing, how your email list is performing. And I did not pay attention to this uh, for such a long time. And the problem is if you don't look at your analytics, you don't know what you're doing right you don't know what you're doing wrong. (laughs) When I started, I grew this email list of people who are interested in living their purpose, right? At the same time, I started putting out these t-shirt business videos on my channel. I didn't pay attention that whenever I sent out a t-shirt business video to my list, the click-through rate, the open rate was through the roof, through the roof. It took me so long to pay attention to that. And finally, when I did pay attention, that's when I was like, oh, okay, cool. The girls like t-shirt business content and I was able to start offering more of that, right? You want to be taking a look at your analytics. And there's a couple that I want you to pay attention to. The first is your open rate. 
The open rate refers to the percentage of people on your list who actually open up your emails. If your open rate is low, you may want to consider dumping people from your list. (laughs) I know that sounds crazy. Like, wait a minute. I took all this hard work to add people to my list. You want me to remove them? Yes, because you are paying for your email list. (laughs) I pay a bill every single month to maintain my email list. And so I don't want to be paying for people who are not actually opening my emails. So every quarter, um, well, we'll get into that in the next step, but you're going to want to make sure that you're looking at your open rate to see how many people on your list are actually opening your emails. The second thing I want you to pay attention to is your click-through rate. If you put a link inside of your actual um, email, what percentage of people are actually clicking through to that once they open the email? And my, um, on my list, I realized that whenever I put a t-shirt business video inside of there, my click-through rate is so high. <laughs> so you want to pay attention to that click-through rate. The third thing is the unsubscribes, right? The unsubscribes. So every email list is going to have unsubscribes and take it as a good thing. That is somebody telling you, I don't want to waste your money by being on your list. I ain't never going to buy from you, sis. I want your stuff. (laughs) So they're doing you a favor by unsubscribing from your list. Don't take it personally. I love when people unsubscribe from my list because now I don't have to pay to keep them on my list, right? So every single email list is going to have unsubscribes. However, If you have an email blast that has way more unsubscribes than you normally do, then you know that is content your list does not like. Don't do it again. (laughs) Don't do it again. So pay attention to those metrics. There's a lot of other metrics to pay attention to, but these in particular will help you be able to create better content for your list. So if you notice that a certain type of subject matter that you send has always a high open rate, a great click-through rate, keep sending more content like that. If there's content that you're sending that's getting low engagement, low open rate, low click-through rate, stop sending that content. Those of you girls who are on my email list in 2019, You remember I used to send out a motivation minute video every single Monday, right? Well, the engagement was terrible. (laughs) So I started testing out other content. And when I started out sending business content, then the open rate started increasing and increasing. And now if I send a t-shirt business content, girl, it's crazy. (laughs) So tip number two, tip number two for email marketing tips. Tip number two is to clean your email list quarterly. Clean your email list quarterly. So I talked a little bit about this in the previous step, but basically your email list provider is going to tell you the contacts who aren't opening your emails. They just are. And what you want to do is go in every single quarter, so that's every three months, and delete the people who haven't opened an email from you in three months. That's what I do. Every three months, I I use ConvertKit for my email. I log into ConvertKit, I put the cold subscribers, so cold subscribers refers to people who have not opened my emails. I'll go through some of them just to spot check and make sure that it's been longer than six weeks, and then I delete them. Sometimes I'll say, I'm about to delete you from this email list. Let me know if you want to stay on by clicking here. But most of the time, I just delete them because if they haven't opened an email from me in 12 weeks, they don't really need my stuff anymore. (laughs) So I just take them off the list. This allows me to keep a healthy list so I don't have an email list of people who don't watch my stuff, who don't like my stuff, who don't engage with my stuff, and it saves my money. It saves my coins because like I said, you have to pay to maintain your email list. There are some email list providers that allow you to start for free. In the email marketing accelerator that I'm teaching on Sunday, I'm going to show you how to start for free using one of those services because I believe in the beginning, don't pay for it. You know, use your money for marketing, not for holding an email list in the beginning. Um, But as you start to grow in your email marketing, you're going to have to start paying to maintain this list. So my bill every month for my email marketing is $100 just for my list, $100. (laughs) So I clean that list up so that I'm not having to pay more money to pay for subscribers who don't engage with my content, okay? So clean your list every single quarter. Um, Don't do it. Some people recommend doing it every six weeks. I think six weeks is too soon. I think six weeks is too soon because sometimes people just go through stuff and they just can't, you know what I mean, deal with anything else. And so they they just fall behind, right? But three months, if you haven't opened in three months, girl, it's okay. (laughs) And finally... The biggest email marketing tip that I have, let me check the time because I have to do a podcast. Okay, the biggest email marketing that I have, the biggest email marketing um, that I have, marketing tip that I have for you, biggest, 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 biggest. (laughs) And for those of you girls in the school of business, you probably know what I'm about to say. 
It is to use something that I call the purpose profit formula. It's to use something that I call the purpose profit formula. Now, what's the purpose profit formula? The purpose profit formula is when you create products based off of what your email list, your current email list wants to buy from you. Sounds amazing, right? It's when you create products based off of what your current email list wants to buy from you. Here's how it works. You are gonna send a broadcast email out to your current list and you're gonna say, hey, what do you want me to make for you next? <laughs> That's it, literally. What do you want me to make for you next? When they respond to you, you're gonna go ahead and take the majority answer. So if a bunch of people are saying, I want to learn about this, right? That's gonna be your next product that you release. But I don't want you to make it yet. I want you to actually create it as a product offer. So figure out what you're gonna offer inside of that product based off of what they said. Don't make it yet, you're just creating the product offer. Once you create the product offer, you're gonna create a sales page, right? A place where people can actually put in their credit card information to pre-order your offer. They're gonna, you want them to pre-order your offer. Once you're done with that, you set up your sales page, you created your offer, right? You're gonna send a second email out to your email list. You're gonna say, based off of majority rules, this is what I'm gonna make for you next. If you'd like to pre-order it for the discount pre-order price of blah, 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 click here, okay? Click here. If nobody orders your product, don't make the product. <laughs> if people order your product, now you have something called proof of concept. You have proof that your current audience wants this product. So now when you have money in exchange for the idea, move forward, make the product and deliver it to the people who purchase and now go all hammies with your marketing to sell that product to other people because you have proof that people actually want this product. This is what I call the purpose profit formula. This is what I teach in the God Girl School of Business and this is what I love to do at God Girl. I never make products without people having pre-ordered them first, okay? Because I spent many years when I first started my business making products people just didn't want. I made products based off, my, off of my instincts. Ooh, this is a good idea. Let me spend six months making this and then people wouldn't buy it. So now I reverse it. Now I ask you, you on my email list, what do you want me to make for you? You tell me, and then I offer to you as a pre-order at a discount price, and then if you pre-order it, then I actually make the product and deliver it to you, and then use sales funnels and marketing to continue selling that product after I make it, right? It's an amazing strategy. <laughs> so that is called the Purpose Profit Formula. So for this video on email marketing tips, the seven top email marketing tips for 2020, tip number seven, build your list. Tip number six, stay in contact consistently. Tip number five, always add leads daily. Tip number four, send both free offers and paid offers. Tip number three, pay attention to your analytics. Tip number two, clean your list quarterly, please. And then tip number one, use the purpose profit formula. Now, if you want my help building your email list, this Sunday, I am teaching an email marketing accelerator where I'm gonna help a small group of girls actually start their email list online. Hey, I'm so excited about it. So if you want to apply for the accelerator, click the link in the description box below this video. It is bit.ly slash godwoodgirlform and go ahead and apply for the accelerator. I am so excited. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this accelerator. This is the only time I will be teaching this accelerator, okay? <laughs> hey Tracy, thank you for those hearts. This is the only time I will be teaching this accelerator, okay? So don't miss this. If you want help, Starting your email list, you're not sure about the tech, you're not sure how to do it, you want to do it in a way that does not take coins out of your pocket in the beginning so that you can reinvest in marketing more than anything else, make sure you apply to this accelerator. I am so excited to work with you girls, okay? If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button! My goal for the channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ. And if you are here as a Christian entrepreneur, you want to start your business, you're not sure how to start, make sure you grab my free Christian business toolkit by going to purposegift.com slash business kit. Thank you so much, girls, for being here. God bless you. Good morning, Tracy. Wow. Bye, Kim. Bye, Dominique. God bless you guys. Love you. And just want, I will see you on the accelerator. Yay, Tracy. Tracy said, I'm signing up today. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> God bless you guys. Bye.